drink Jameson at a running gun? Yes, I do. And what I do, I do it with a Red Army Standard glass that I got from Rock Castle Shooting Center. Welcome back, everybody. It's been a while, so I want to come to you today and talk to you about a running gun that I did last month in Oklahoma. That was the summer Oklahoma running gun in Pawnee, Oklahoma. And uh, had a great time. First uh, shout out, of course, is going to go to the match directors, Al and Dan. You guys did another great job of a roughly eight mile course through the uh, grueling heat that we had out in Oklahoma. Second shout out is going to go to Susie and John. Um, you guys and allowing us to hang out on your property and uh, camp out the whole weekend. It was a fantastic time. Had a great time hanging out with you guys every evening and uh, so wouldn't have it in any other way. So uh, I'm going to try to make, like I always tell you, today's commentary pretty short and uh, I'll talk real quick. I always have the sponsors. Everybody can see the back of the shirt. You guys can see who sponsored the event. All that kind of good stuff. <clears throat> Couldn't do it without the sponsors. Can't do it with Alan Dan. Can't do it without Alan Dan and can't do it without John and Susie and folk like that. So for all you guys that are out there doing the running guns, make sure that you thank these folks online. Thank them when you see them and uh, both the sponsors, the folks that give us the, uh, the property to do it on, and of course the match directors, and all the other ROs that were out there with me this weekend, or that weekend last month. So uh, get right into what I did this year uh, for the summer running gun, kind of very similar to last year for the summer running gun around the Sig Sauer MCX. This is M556, it's got an ACOG on top of it, and I used the Tap Biathlon thing that you guys see me run all the time. This thing is getting pretty salty. I'll pour up full of sweat, but it continues to impress me and uh, does, does really, really well. Uh, the rifle did great, especially on the 500 yard shot, and it always does me well. Uh, unlike the run gun that I did the month prior in North Carolina, this time I ran my MMP and uh, it did a lot better, which you'll see. I used some of the extended magazines and uh, are just put on the paddle holster that I attached to the uh, inner and outer belt, had an inner Velcro belt through the belt loops and this outer Velcro belt with uh, some taco, HSGI taco pouches, three magazines, 5.56, and another three mags of uh, 22 round mags for the M&P. So carried enough ammo, I had uh, quite a bit left over actually. Of course I had the Camelback on. So I used the Camelback because running in the heat in Oklahoma is very important to make sure you're carrying water. So if you're going to go out and do one of these running guns, I've seen a lot of questions out there online, especially in the running gun discussion group, about what should you do. Um, biggest thing is get comfortable gear. Get what you're comfortable wearing. A lot of folks wear chest rigs. I wear belts. You guys are going to see over the course of the next four, four or five weeks. I've got three running guns coming up, and I'm going to run a different setup for each one because I'm going to run a different weapon for each one. But for the 5.56, I'm comfortable running the uh, the slimline HSGI belt here. I'll probably wear something larger when I run the RFB and I'll run the FAL. And I'm also going to run the AK. But uh, one of the key things out there is find a way to carry water, especially when we're running in the heat. The next two matches we have coming up are going to be in some very hot areas. Georgia here in a couple of weeks, and then the week following after that is going to be Legion at Rock Castle. You're going to need water. So Camelback, some way to carry water. That's one of the most important things. I've actually run a running gun, summer running gun, where I didn't carry enough water, and uh, I, had, uh, I didn't have a good time when I had about a mile and a half to two miles left, and I didn't have any water at all, and I was praying to get across that finish line. So depending on what weapon you use, what pistol you use, what rifle you use, you know, get gear that you're comfortable wearing. Uh, I've done it in a lot of different things. So, you know, take a look at all my videos, this and that. Get out there, practice in the gear. That's another big thing. So just wanted to answer that question because a lot of folks out there have been asking as they're getting into running gun, they're just starting out into this, you know, what kind of gear do they need to get? And uh, practice, practice with both your rifle, practice with both your pistol and your rifle. Practice a lot uh, because remember your score, it's 50% of that run time, the time that you're out on the course, and the other 50% of it is your shoot time on each of the stages. And be able to shoot your rifle everywhere from 
10 to 15 yards at, you know, paper targets doing fast engagement, engagements, all the way out to five, 600 yards sometimes. So make sure you know what your holdovers are, depending on what optic you're using, or if you're using irons, know what you're doing in your weapon when you get out there. Don't show up to a running gun and have only gone to the range and shot a max of 100 yards and maybe some 10 yard work with your pistol. All right, get out there, run with your gear, shoot your guns, and all that good stuff. So that's enough of that rant. I'm going to get right into the run. Like I said, it was eight miles in and out of the, uh, the ranch roads in the forest out in Pawnee, Oklahoma. Had a great time. Uh, we did things a little bit different this year between the 5 and the 10K. So I did the 10K, and, uh, and I'll get right into it. So thanks again, Al, Dan, Susie, John, everybody out there, all the other rows, all those happy faces that I love seeing every year I show up out there. And I'll see you guys again in January. For all the rest of you guys, like I mentioned earlier, I'll see you in a couple of weeks down at Riverbend Gun Club in Georgia for Bruce's match. And then I'll see you again a week later in Legion at Rock, at Rock Castle at Legion and uh, with the fifth group guys out there and everything that they do. Matt Stennett, thank you for putting on that match. And then again next month, uh, Ellis is hosting another running gun down in North Carolina. I'll be down there running and RO and that match as well. So see you guys all there. Have a good time. The music, this is for you, Al. All right, you guys take it easy. See you guys in a bit. The preacher man says it's the end of time And the Mississippi River, she's a gold dry is up and the stock market's down and you're only getting mugged if you go downtown I live back in the woods you see my woman and the kids and the dogs and me I got a shotgun a rifle and a four wheel drive and a country boy can survive country folks can I can plow a field all, right. all day long I can catch catfish from dusk till dawn Make our own whiskey and our own smoke too Ain't too many things these old boys can't do Keep going Grow good old tomatoes and homemade wine And country boy can survive Country folks can survive Oh, there it is. Because you can't starve us out And you can't make us run Cause when the old boys raised on shotguns That is it? From the West Virginia coal mines and the Rocky Mountains and the Western Stars. And we can skin a buck, we can run a trot line, and a country boy can survive. Country folks can survive. I had a good friend in New York City. He never called me by my name, just Hillbilly. Is that it? My grandpa taught me how to live off the land, and his taught him to be a business ready. man. Fire. He used to send me pictures of the Broadway nights, and I'd send him some homemade wine. But he was killed by a man with a switchblade knife For forty-three dollars my friend lost his life I'd love to spit some beach nut in that dude's eyes And shoot him with my old forty-five Cause a country boy can survive Country folks can survive
of California and South Alabama and little towns hey. all around this land. Hey. Hey. We can skin a buck and run hey. a trot line and a country boy can survive. Country folks can hey. survive. Country hey. boy can survive. Uh, country uh, folks one myth, can right? Survive. Computer's ready.
Oh, you can't.